Some of us are unaware that our nation has the largest ticking bomb in the world. One of the ten supervolcanoes on Earth, the Yellowstone volcano is believed by experts to have erupted first. And with good cause. A research team, from the University of Utah, recently made a groundbreaking discovery while employing seismic technology to examine its depths. They found a new reservoir of hot, partially molten rock that is 4.4 times larger than the shallower, well-known magma chamber and lies 12 to 28 miles beneath the Yellowstone supervolcano. The Yellowstone volcano was regarded as the continent's biggest volcano. But now that this new find has been made, it could be the world's biggest volcano. According to postdoctoral researcher, Jamie Farrell, the hot rock in the newly discovered, deeper magma reservoir would fill the 1,000 cubic miles of the Grand Canyon 11.2 times, while the previously known magma chamber would fill the Grand Canyon 2.5 times. The Yellowstone volcano also has an extremely active underground environment. Each year, this causes 2,000 to 3,000 little earthquakes to occur in Yellowstone which translates to about seven earthquakes daily. There are no clear indications of an approaching eruption, according to some researchers. However, they also mention how swiftly earlier eruptions occurred. A deeper look at the shape and makeup of crystals created during earlier eruptions shows that the molten material rose quickly to the surface and wasn't left to cool in pools nearer the surface before being ejected. This implies that refueling the deep magma reservoir might cause relatively quick eruptions, and there might not be any obvious indication of the magma traveling upward from there that would alert us to the impending eruptions. All of this indicates that keeping an eye on the deep magma reservoir is likely the best approach to learn about what Yellowstone may be doing. From this, we can see, the Yellowstone volcano is more dangerous than we thought. Well, this is Future Destiny, join us as we uncover the mysteries of the cosmos. The question is, how destructive are supervolcano eruptions? First of all, I'd want to note that there have only been four supervolcano eruptions in the history of humanity or humanoids. Yellowstone Hotspot, USA, expelled 240 cubic miles of ashes and debris 640,000 years ago. Fakamaru, New Zealand, ejected 480 cubic miles of ashes and debris 254,000 years ago. The Lake Toba eruption, Indonesia, ejected 670 cubic miles ashes and debris 74,000 years ago. At least 70% of the human population was wiped off when Lake Toba in Indonesia discharged 670 cubic miles of ashes and debris of hot water lava 74,000 years ago. It is thought that the Toba disaster triggered a global volcanic winter lasting 6 to 10 years and maybe, a cooling period lasting 1,000 years. This event occurs at the same time as a population bottleneck in human evolution, when there were only between 3,000 and 10,000 living humans. Genetic evidence suggests that the current population of humans is descended from a very tiny population of between 1,000 and 10,000 breeding pairs that existed roughly 70,000 years ago. Supervolcano eruptions are so powerful that they frequently form circular calderas rather than cones because the downward withdrawal of magma causes the overlying mass to collapse and fill the void magma chamber beneath. The most recent major eruption, which ejected 280 cubic miles of material, occurred at Lake Taupo in New Zealand 26,500 years ago. Super eruptions refer to two of Yellowstone's three largest eruptions. The final one created the caldera that we are familiar with, it is 30 by 45 miles in size, or almost the size of the park. The Yellowstone supervolcano has erupted three times in the past few million years, according to the US Geological Survey. The first one happened around 2.1 million years ago, and the second one happened about 1.3 million years ago. It has been roughly 650,000 years, since the last significant eruption, which occurred 640,000 years ago. Even if we are fortunate enough to avoid the upcoming eruption this time around. 
One of the most significant natural disasters in recent history will affect America. Some claim that if the Yellowstone supervolcano explodes, millions of Americans could wind up in Brazil, Australia, or Argentina. Some claim that there won't be enough time, in a frigid, ashy winter like a brief ice age, the majority of the US population will go. There is no doubt that the US will be the country most affected, and more significantly, agriculture will take a fatal hit worldwide. A few years of extended winter brought on by the ashes blocking of the sun will present new difficulties for humanity. And if the human race survived the Toba supervolcano 74,000 years ago, it was probably because we were not dependent on agriculture, which had not even been developed at that point. Humans were merely hunters and gatherers in reality. We are now more dependent on our crops than ever before because of our planet's extreme population growth. A prolonged winter will usher in an unparalleled amount of world starvation. And I'm not sure we'll survive if the winter lasts for five years. However, only few people are aware of the PTR extinction event, which occurred 250 million years ago, and resulted in the extinction of 96% of all marine species and 70% of all terrestrial vertebrate species, was the biggest extinction event to ever occur on Earth. This was before the dinosaurs. It is thought that a huge volcano, coal slash gas burns, and explosions from the Siberian traps were the catalysts for the apocalypse. In Siberia, Russia, a sizable expanse of volcanic rock is known as the Siberian traps. Unprecedented quantities of gas and lava were released into the atmosphere during the huge eruption, traveling millions of miles beneath the ocean floor, destroying a great proportion of plants and animal species. Some of the animal species that went extinct as a result of this event are, trilobites, brachiopods, confronts, ammonoids and more. However, the cause of the PTR extinction is not entirely clear, but it's believed to be caused by a combination of factors, including, volcanic eruptions accompanied with global warming, and a reduction in oxygen levels in the ocean. The eruption led to a release in huge amounts of greenhouse gases, which caused average increases in world's temperatures, and increasing in the acidic contents of the ocean water bodies. This effect later on caused widespread environmental changes and damages, which led to the extinction of many species. The PTR extinction had a significant impact in the diversification and existence of life in our planet. From this, it tells us that, volcanoes are not something to be careless of, as they turn out to be planets destroyers, and have the capability of changing the atmospheric components of any planet. Thus, causing climate change. As recently predicted by scientists, the Yellowstone volcano can be as dangerous as the PTR extinction if a super eruption blows up in the region. More to that, volcanoes are exploding all over the world, especially along the Pacific Ring of Fire, caused by several factors. But however, scientists unexpectedly discovered more impacts in the Yellowstone than any other place, as they detected more than what we expected of a supervolcano like the Yellowstone. Where they realized there was, a new chamber of magma, 4.4 times voluminous than the quantity which was released 640,000 years ago. The entire Earth is not safe. This new discovery of the Yellowstone region has kept a lot of scientists astonished, since its magma content is believed to be more than three times voluminous than the recorded magma volume of the Lake Toba, whose explosion took a large proportion of life on Earth. Before now, the largest area of scientists fear was the effect of asteroids' impacts, since they can be as disastrous as taking the entire life of a planet, but turns out to realize that, in a fascinating world of disasters, they lie sleeping dormant, liable to wipe out the face of the Earth if woken up. A lot of people say, it's not a big deal to think about disastrous impacts, at least they'll happen, but not in our lifetime. But however, recently, there have been a record of several disastrous impacts than before as recorded by NASA, United States Geological Survey, and other scientific research teams. 
This is caused by many factors, but the most fascinating phenomenon which causes disastrous impacts is, the sudden decrease of the strength of Earth's magnetic field, causing disastrous impacts like, climate change, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions and possibly, a change in the rate of the Earth's rotation and atmosphere. And according to experts, if this persists, it won't just only cause such impacts, but the Earth would be exposed to heavy radiations, like increase in solar ultraviolet radiation and cosmic rays, and in few million years to come, the Earth would become totally devastated like Mars. The Yellowstone volcano is one of the areas where these activities are seen. For now, with our current technology, there's nothing we can do if such dormant giants were to wake up. And their discovery shows that the volcano itself might be the highest possible volcano in the entire Earth which has not yet shown its true color. Do you think, we shouldn't worry about this issue, or do you think we should start preparing for an escape plan to other planets like Titan, Moon or Mars? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. And if you enjoyed this video, just hit the thumbs up like and subscribe to this channel.